I've seen Jukin as like this dance that can be put in the same category as like hip hop, ballet, jazz, you know, modern, Jukin. I was with my sister in the living room. We started with the buff jump. <laughs> Real simple. That was like um, the first actual basic steps I ever learned jumping, ever. I wasn't naturally good at it. <laughs> it, it took a lot of, you know, it was a lot of hard times for me coming up jumping. Really that bounce, that to, to get that natural bounce is really hard if you're not if it's not like really naturally in you. I was raised in Memphis, Tennessee around the music a lot, but I wasn't really born there. I never was really introduced to anything, any other, you know, anything else other than freestyle. So I just did it with my friends. I started taking hip hop class. And at first we joined the group because it was girls and he was like, all right, cool, I, I don't mind being in the group, you know, it's a bunch of girls in here, we get to have fun, you know. It went from that to like actually, you know, being able to incorporate hip hop into my style and actually have a different rhythm about than what I was used to, it actually helped me become a better dancer. When I first moved to LA, street performing was it because like you're making like cold hard cash out there on the street. A lot of people are used to jucking in Memphis because we see that a lot. But when you take that style that never has hasn't been seen before and into and you put it in LA and with all these competitive dancers, you've seen this, you've seen the b-boys, you've seen the poppers, but this one style you never seen. And this guy's like gliding across carpet <laughs> or across the floor like it's water. You're like, what is this? Like everything was impressing people out there. Like even down to when I was just doing things like this. It was all like, what? And I was like, that's nothing. You know, that's just me messing around. I'm not even serious. YouTube has played a tremendous role in my career. Videos with Janelle Monet. I did this video with Yo-Yo Ma that went viral, that Spike, Spike Jones was there to record. If you have the gift and you have the, um, you know, the gift to uh, affect people in a good way and in an artistic way and in an inspiring way, then yeah, I believe that's a responsibility. It's just like, any other super superhero <laughs> has been given a gift. They always, you know, use their responsibility in some way, either for good or bad, and you know, I'm using mine for good. <laughs>